Welcome back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad Model P52 series. These are workstation, they are not laptop pretty much. A laptop would be really portable, these are really bulky and heavy and they are really uh, powerful as they are considered as a workstation. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can upgrade and add extra hard drives and make it faster and what are the options that you have and which one you should be choosing. Just remember, once you do upgrade the hard drives or anything in here, you will not have any operating system on the new drives. So you want to back up all your file data that you have on an external hard drive on a cloud somewhere. And I made a video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in video description if you want to install your Windows when you have the new drive installed. And I made another video how to properly install the Windows on a, any laptop. Those links can be found in my video description. But today we're just going to go ahead and open it up and show you guys how easy it is to remove or replace your hard drive and the combinations. Alright, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely and you want to flip it upside down. Down here you're going to see a big L shape or kind of weird shape, service cover we call them. They have a few screws, so one, two, three, four, five, six screws. These screws, they do have a C-lock on them. That means they have a little tiny, on the other side, plastic, there's a C-lock, we call them. It, won't, it will prevent the screw from just coming out entirely. So all you have to do is just screw it and loose them up. The screwdriver that I'll be using, it's iFixit screwdriver set. As these ones, they have the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit. These are really toughened bits. You're gonna use a Phillips number zero from this screwdriver set. And what we're gonna do right now, so we're gonna go ahead and start from one corner and just rot do few rotations on the screws until they become loose. Do this to all the screws. Also, if you guys like this channel, if you find it really helpful, helping you guys out to do your own upgrade or servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. That would be a great support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and help you guys out. Well, right, once we lose up the screws, we're gonna grab it from this back side right here. You see this finger finger place right there. Put your finger there and lift it up from that side, and then pull it back as you can release this bottom hinges from here. All right. So down here, we're gonna see two space for M.2 PCI Express lane. One of them is empty. They had a previously an M.2 here, there's a thermal pad here. You don't need a thermal pad, but if you want to put 0.4 or 0.5 millimeters thermal pad here, and in here, there's another one. This one has a 512 gig NVMe PCI Express uh, M.2 drive here. And right here, there's a SATA hard drive, this is a mechanical one. And to remove this one, it's really simple. All you need to do is grab this plastic cover here, transparent, and just pull it up towards the ceiling and it will disconnect the jack right there. It just comes from the top to the bottom. Don't pull it sideways. Once you disconnect that, grab this side flip thing here and pull it towards the this end and while you're pulling it up so you can release the hinge in the corner. But you don't want to bring it too up because it's going to be stuck right here. So bring it up in about... 10, 15 degrees, and then slide it back this way. So it comes, there's a kind of drawer right there. And there is the one. This is a two terabyte Seagate hard drive, so you can put another two terabyte if you wish. So you can only put low profile, you can put a thick profile, otherwise it will not fit there. Let's say you get a bigger hard drive, all you need to do is to disconnect the um, adapter right there, just pull it out. And you will need to use this bracket to plastic carry, we call it. So you want to pull it apart. Pull this side too. And there we have it. You don't need to remove the aluminum sheet. That's absolutely not necessary. Just remember the way that you removed it. You want to grab your new SSD or new mechanical drive. You can put an SSD in here or mechanical drive you can put. SSD is up to 4 terabyte with no issues. Mechanical up to two terabytes because after that it becomes really thick. But I would recommend you guys highly to put a mechanical drive in here. Just make sure it goes through the caddy right there, just like that. 
I'm not actually going to replace it, but just for demonstration, I'm going to put back the original one, which is this one. So you want to make sure it goes right through the holes, the screw holes. The tiny nipples right there, you want to push it through the screw hole. Once you have it in this position, put the adapter. The adapter only goes in one way. So place it the way it's supposed to be. With a SATA connector right there, just push it down there. Now what you want to do, you want to put this end under the hook right there. Slide it there and bring it down and push it down, make sure it locks in place. Now you want to grab this connector, you want to align it right on top of the jack, and then you just want to simply push it in. It makes a tiny click. So I recommend you guys to put a mechanical drive up to two terabyte in here, a good brand. And in here you can put extra space if you want. You can put two NVMEs and run them as an RAID format, which is not, is kind of risky but don't do it or you can have a big nvme up to four terabyte another four terabyte nvme and transfer rate between them it will be humongous really fast comparing an nvme and mechanical drive here so if you want to read from here it's going to be limited space speed but if you try to read it from this one to this to the main one it will be really really fast so if you want to replace or add one just grab your nvme drive make sure the notch on the the uh, hard drive matches the notch right on the dim, which is right here, tiny small one. And you want to bring it down in 15, 20 degrees, all the way, degree, all the way to the jack. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard. But you, before that, you need to remove the screw that they give you. So remove the screw right there. Now you want to push it there and you want to put the screw right on top so it holds it in place. And there we have it. To remove the other one is the same thing, just remove the screw and the SSD will come out in 45 degree or 10 degree and then you just want to pull it out in the same 10 degree. Make sure the notch on the SSD matches the notch right on the dim. Bring it down again in 10-15 degree and towards the motherboard and put the screw right on top. If I can hold this screw in place, there we have it. Now you can actually install your Windows on each, any of these two and keep that one as a second storage for a fast storage. And you can keep the mechanical one for a bigger files. It's like a two terabyte, so you can put important files in here which you don't access all the time. Leave them in here. All right, and this is how you upgrade the hard drive and the combination that you can have. Once you finish, grab the bottom cover, put the back end down first on the front end of the laptop and bring it down. And then all you need to do is to tighten up the screws on the service cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe to support the channel.